Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel, you're watching Zelda 2 Redux. We've only done one episode so far, and we've already noticed some pretty significant quality of life improvements. Uh, I mean, if Zelda 2 Redux isn't going to make the game any easier, I mean, if you suck at Zelda 2, like I do, I mean, it's not going to make you suck any less, but maybe some of the balancing things will... Will help out. And see, now the caves are lit up because we have the candle from Parapa Palace. Or Parapa. Para people. I don't know. Whatever's going on here. So, yeah, now we're on our way westward to a town so that we can get the jump spell. The jump spell is very important, but first we need to make a stop because we're not going to be able to get the jump spell unless we have a trophy which is tucked away at the back of this cave. So here we go. All right, so get the bat to come down from off the ceiling. There we go. Very good. So this is our first, uh, well, I was going to say this is our first, uh, this is our first encounter with a, with a death liquid of some kind, but we've already been on that bridge over by what's-its-face, uh, over where, near where we got the heart container. There we go. I'm much better at avoiding gorillas than I am Iron Knuckles. But there we go. We got the bowling trophy. So now back to give it to the Elder. Uh, oh, oh, hey, the bat respawned. I will take his experience for sure. Almost up to 50. We can get ourselves some defense if we feel so inclined. But I think I'd rather go ahead and get one more defensive. Or one more attack. One more attack level. It's pretty easy to get levels in this game so far. We're in the town of Ruto. And we are here to... Are you the lady who wants... Won't you come in? Yeah, I'll come in. Or are you the health restoring lady? Oh, uh, you're the health restoring lady. I don't care about you. I've got full health right now. I'm looking for the lady who who lost her father's trophy. What's what's going on there? I love that lady. I, you know, it just occurred to me that that lady is carrying a bowl of water on her head. Not wearing like a stewardess cap oh that's the goddess statue come see my grandpa yeah she's carrying like a bowl of water on her head isn't she that just occurred to me just now here i just thought she was a happy little woman wearing a nice little like stewardess hat on her head whatever let's bow at the feet of grandpa and get the jump spell which is needed to go farther on 24 spell points to cast the spell of jumping. And I think we, I think it says we have 51. Is that? No, we have five crystals left to get. And we have one life. That's a, that's a weird looking HUD. It makes it look like we have 51 spell points. Uh, but that's okay. We don't actually have 51. We do have some a pretty reasonable amount of spell power. Enough to jump over the big thing we're going to see anyway. Hey, big mama. What's shaking? Use keys in the temples where they are found. Yep, you generally can't carry a key with you outside of a temple. Yeah. So, like, she's carrying a bowl, like a water vessel on her head, right? That's the whole idea there. I've always just thought she was wearing a nice little hat. Don't go south without a candle. It's very dangerous. Well, you have to go through one dark cave. Oh, I didn't realize the, the town tile was animated. There's a little chimney smoke puffing out of it. That's cute. Never noticed that before. Well, here we go down south to this little... I think this is a two-screener. So, here we go. There we go. Oh, oh, I can level up. So, it's 2,000 to get to attack. 2,000 isn't too big an ask. Oh, golly. I almost got distracted by that magic vial that I don't need. Good God, that was terrible. That took a whole heart? Maybe I should work on defense, actually. All right. Oh, yeah. Enemies are kind of taking it out of me. They're really taking a chunk out of my skin there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start building up defense a little. That's probably smart. We're pretty good on we're pretty good on all that good stuff for now. So we don't have any magic levels, though. So, uh, oh, and I got a health. I got my health restored. Does that always happen in Zelda 2? I don't remember that you get your health and. Well, I haven't used any magic yet, but I don't remember getting all your hearts restored when you get a level up. I'll get you, Mr. Gurria. Yeah, Gurrias are way easier to read with their boomerangs and stuff than the than the sword guys are. 
Ah, uh, yeah. I heard that fireball. Don't think I didn't. There's one of these guys that turns into a demon man. There we go. Got him good. Okay, so defense is going to be 150 now. Uh, magic boost is going to be 100. I haven't used a lot of magic yet and haven't really seen the need for it, so I'm going to keep on moving. Here is the guy that is going to turn into a... Oh. Took more hits than I remembered. Okay, so can't normally get over this. Got to have the jump spell. We got the jump spell. Ah, we did it. We solved the puzzle. And Pat, I would like to buy vowels. So we're going to go over here real quick. I think there's a fairy over here. Do not need that fairy. But there's something else of interest down here. Which normally I would... Ah, crap. The little... Walking through the swamp. Trug, I always liked the sound of walking through the swamp. The bu -bu 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 I always thought that was cute. Like, make it sound like something. That's that's cute. Okay, so we're going to go onto this tile that we were going to reach. This is a doll. If you've never played Zelda 2, this is how you get extra lives. But they work differently in Zelda 2 Redux. Instead of just... Okay, normally in Zelda 2, you would save all the doll locations for the end of the game. Then you would go around, collect all the dolls, and that would maximize the number of lives you have to go take on the Great Palace and, and whatnot. But in this game, in Zelda 2 Redux, in this version of the game, collecting a doll adds to the maximum number of lives you have when you restart the game, which is a lot better. So you can just collect the dolls worry-free, and if you, as long as you know where they are, anyway. And, uh, all right, let's... Let's enter an action scene. These little, these little bouncy, bouncy birds here, whatever they are. I've never really been able to get a beat on what those things are. They're a nice little fantasy monster, I say. So let's see. Forget. Do we need to? Do we need to find? Do we need to find Bagu first? He's somewhere up in here, right? I think I may have actually hit the tile he's on. All right. So 2020 magic. I can get a defense boost at this point, which uh, I think I'm going to take. There we go. Excellent. Excellent, your excellency. There we go. Yeah, I'm just I'm just tearing through monsters at this point like tissue paper. There's not really not really Oh. Oh yeah, a lot of these tiles are an action scene. I remember now. Okay. Uh, but one of them, one of them features the house of a guy named Bagu. There it is. I was only one down from it. I, I had a pretty good memory for that spot. Kind of requires you to do a tile hunt for an unremarkable looking tile. My name is Bug. Show this letter to the fairy man. Oh yeah, cause oh okay, that's what I am error is all about. We skipped error. He's back in uh, Rudo, I think. That was the second town, right? Rudo or... Yeah, I think it was Rudo. Uh, he was back in the town that we visited a few minutes ago. Uh, but the whole joke is that there's a guy named Error and a guy named Bug. And his name is changed back to Bug in this translation. But in Old Zelda 2, it was Bagu. Like you would say it in Japanese. Show this letter to the fairy man in Saria. All right. I am the only person who's allowed to be in Saria. Let's get out of here. Let's go down. Let's go. We got to cross a bridge now. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Oh, yeah. These guys. They're a lot of fun. Sometimes sometimes they arc up. Got to be really careful. It's always good, good practice to duck. Because a lot of them shoot a fireball. Some of them don't. Some of them do. But whenever you see one hit the screen, you should immediately duck. Oh, hey. I actually need magic this time. Oh yeah, I forgot they cruise through the wall when they hit a wall. This is a this is a pea bag, I think, over here. I think they're yeah, there we go. Another bag of pea. The freshest. Okay, uh, we're gonna we're gonna cancel on that for now. Okay, 400 to another defense level. Wow, defense levels are much cheaper than attack levels. That makes sense. Attack is oh my god. Attack is what you really want. Uh, attack is what tears enemies apart. Tears them asunder, I say. Alright. Hey, more magic. Woohoo. Everybody loves magic, right? Well, not according to my pack-cracking views. Oh, God. Oh, hey. Ha <laughs> ha Some fancy footwork there. Link is a little... There we go. Alright. Excellent. Link's got that fancy footwork going on. 
Well, technically I didn't have to cross the bridge, and it's just a ferry over here. Well, that's a fat wad of no good. I think we'll go ahead and cross it. It's, it's one bridge or the other, so we might as well just... Might as well take this one. It's somewhat easier. We don't have all the things flying up in our face. So, off we go. Here we go. To waits for a woman with less discriminating tastes. So now it's on to the town of Saria. That's over here. We've already talked to Bug. So, whoa, God. Very, I'm feeling extremely seen and surrounded here. So here we go. Let's make our way off from this weak monster encounter and go have some fun in Saria. Saria, I think, is the town where, uh, water town of Saria, yes. Sorry, is the town where things can turn into bats. Ganon's minions are hidden among the crowds in the town. And sometimes if you talk to people, they turn into bats. Including sometimes this guy. Uh, not today, though. Alright, some of the people are safe, though. Like, uh, this lady. Hello there, young fella. Oh, but no, she does. She kind of did a little moonwalk away from that. That was a slick move, Granny. Not, not bad. Okay, so we don't need to talk to anybody who, uh... Okay, what's, what's up here? Is this the thing where there's somebody under the table? Yeah, haha, <laughs> yes. You found a mirror under the table. Well, that's good. I think that's what gets us the life spell, which in this game is called heal to more appropriately tell you what it does. I don't think she... She's not the life healer. Everybody has their own little headcanon about what the life healing lady is actually doing for you. She's the magic healing lady. Here's the life healer. Won't you come in? Yeah. I, I'll come in and get my <laughs> life restored. You know it, baby. All right. Next screen. So we've talked to Bug. So we're friends with Bug, so he'll let the bridge down. A friend to Bug, eh? In that case, you may cross the bridge. Don't mind if I do. Let's go to it. All right. So we found a mirror. Actually, now that we've, uh, now that we've found the mirror... I think we do need to actually talk to someone around here. Maybe we need to talk to Granny, actually, here. Come and rest here. No, she's the magic lady. So, we need to wait for another... The hero, Erdrick, lies here. <laughs> oh, Dragon Warrior. Or Dragon Quest, if you prefer. What's, what's going on here? Is this where I found the mirror? You found a mirror under the table. Again? Wow. There's a lot of mirrors under this table. Just piles and piles of mirrors. Okay, so now we're gonna go somewhere. I think this is the lady we want. That's my mirror. Follow me to my house. How did your mirror end up under the table, lady? I I don't even want to know what you were up to with a mirror and a table. The imagination runs wild. Let's kneel at the feet of Grandpa and teach the magic to restore your life. Which is called heal in this game. Uh, not life, as it was called in normal Zelda 2. There's another spell with a changed name in this game that makes a little more sense given the context. So yeah, okay. Almost got out of here without taking the life spell. That would have been bad. But now we can uh, move along, cruise on toward Death Mountain. Uh, life spell is pretty important in Death Mountain sometimes. Uh, especially, well, I've got defense now. It's just... It's going to cost me a heck of a lot of... Ah, hey, the bridge comes up for me automatically. I don't have to talk to the guy every time. That's that's a nice little how do you do. Let's get on out of here then. Okay. And bye-bye, water town of Saria. It was nice knowing you. Nice little stop on our world tour here. So now here we are in Death Mountain. Let's see if I remember the way through Death Mountain. This looks right. If I start seeing rooms that don't look right, I'll know I'm... Ah! How dare you spit? Oh, hey. You know what? I'll... I'll take that. Okay, the sword is still kind of... I think the sword is a little longer in Zelda Redux. It feels longer anyway. That may just be my imagination. Well, let's, uh... Let's keep on trucking. Okay, so we're through that one. Only one path to take here. Alright, Octorox. Yeah, definitely... Definitely want to do this and go this way. I, I hear you, Gurria. Alright. Gurias aren't too much of a threat, honestly. Now, if I had my downward stab, I could do this. I wouldn't have to be so precise right here. Hey, wow, boy. Generous with the pee bags today. 
All right, so now, now I should probably start working on magic. Let's go ahead and get our magic points up. To the right again, to the right, to the right. All the death mag- Yeah, I get my health restored every time I level up. Well, that's handy dandy. I don't think that happened in Zelda 2. Zelda 2 would never have been so nice. That can't have been the case in the original game. Okay, let's try to... There we go. Alright, not not too bad there. Alright, so we should have, uh... I think, uh... I think we're gonna have What's-His-Face coming after this. It's called a Daria, I believe. You can kind of handle them in the same way that you handle... That you handle, uh, What's-Their-Faces. Iron Knuckles. Okay, so we're through here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to make it to this one. Uh, and then we're gonna go... I think we're gonna go left this time. Is that... Okay, this... This feels... This feels nice and good, I think. And if not, you know, we can just wind our way through. I, I have kind of a... Kind of a muscle memory for Death Mountain. My cousin owned... I had a cousin that owned Zelda 2 when I was a kid. Yeah, he's gonna... I was gonna say... He's gonna come right up underfoot. That's a stupid place to sit. I had a cousin who had Zelda 2, so I played it a lot, and I would get up to a point, and then I would just start floundering. Yeah, I don't think this is... it. Maybe it is. Oh, boy. Wow. Okay, come here. Oh, wow. Yeah, you, uh... You hit big. Oh, hey, that's a big win right there. Getting a pee bag from a Daria? I think so. Alright, so you... Alright, so we're out of here now. Oh, we're back here. Okay, we just, uh... We just made another... Let's go right this time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is definitely the right way. Okay. Wow. Great, uh, great sword timing and sword play there, Just Wow. Just getting it from all sides here. This is terrible. Alright. Boy, I could, uh, I could sit and pummel these guys all day. Okay, so let's get out of here before any more of them can pursue us. Okay, now we're definitely headed in the right direction. But I think, uh, I think... Do you get life here? I don't think so. I think this is where the... I think this is where the axe-throwing Daria comes in. Uh, the red one, which is far more dangerous. There we go. Nice. Okay. Yeah, this one, like, actually throws axes. Okay, yeah, I am getting my little lily-livered ass handed to me here. Ah, man! God, yeah, I'm pretty terrible at... Which is, oh, so we got an extra life in the from the doll, and we get the extra life starting off. Okay. Alright, just watch the axe throws. There we go. Ah, yeah, that's not so intimidating. There we go. Now we get a magic boost. Very good. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Okay. That's pretty much the scariest enemy in Death Mountain, if I recall. Maybe there are a few more of those hanging around, but I know there are at least some, uh... Oh, wow. The Gorilla actually got me. Gorilla sounds weirdly like Gorilla. I don't know if that's supposed to be the, the case or not. Oh, yeah. Yeah, go into the axe swing, Jess. Real smart. You're about to die in freaking Death Mountain. Well, that is the name of it, so I guess it makes sense that that would happen there. Okay, and boom. There you go. Alright, I think there may be... Okay, I thought there might be one more Daria in there. Okay, we're almost out of Death Mountain. We're almost in the clear. God, getting her... I can't wait to get the downward stab. I hate doing... Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, God. One, one, two, three. There we go. One, two, three. All right. Very nice. Okay. That wasn't... You know what? I should actually go get the magic thing. Why am I... Why am I letting just... Why am I letting magic vials just pass through my fingers like that? Okay. So, we're going to take the coward's way out here. One, two, three... Okay, they're respawning. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Ah, yes. Full magic. I would have preferred the experience, but... But we're at least out of here home free. 
one more cave, and I think we'll call it a day. Getting out of Death Mountain safe is what matters to me. Holy cow, now I gotta do it in the other direction. One, two, three. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, one, two, one, two, three. There we go. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Ah, no. One, two, three. Whoa! I thought for a second my sword wasn't going to reach him, but there's at least one more coming. I'm fairly certain. Well, I have the magic, so I might as well heal up here. One, two, three. Whoa! One, two, three. The beam almost screwed me there. One, two, three. That was almost a hit right there. For Daria, not for me. One, two, three. Ah, one, two, three. Boy, sword play in this game is uh, is quite a chore. And yeah, we're going to need that because we're going to need to... Okay, we're out on the other side of Death Mountain. That's a good stopping point, I think. Feeling a little stressed out from traversing the mountains. We're going to call that a day and I will see you guys next time for more Zelda 2 action. Pause!